Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. Hope you guys are having a good day. Uh, please don't mind um, my voice. I My webcam here still records, but doesn't record voice. So I had to use my other one, which is kind of, oh, it's not across the room, but it's like a few feet, maybe a foot away from me. I don't know. But anyway, it sounds a little echoey and I'm sorry. Um, I'm working on getting another camera. We shall see. I don't know when that will be. But this is for Brian. So this is going to be a video on... Um, not having a lot of money and what can you do for stencils to use for mixed media background and that kind of thing. So first I'm going to show you what I did. <clears throat> These are, this is just printer paper, by the way. And so is this, these are just little, uh, stencils that I made. And what I did was this piece of printer paper. I drew on trees, right? Christmas trees, whatever kind of tree you want to call them. And I drew them on. I, colored them with marker and then I went and I cut them out. I accidentally cut that little tip off, but Hey, what you going to do? So I cut them out. We're going to, we're going to go with this as being our pride today. Uh, and, um, yeah, I took Mod Podge gloss and I put two coats on it. When I was done doing that, I took this and I put Mod Podge. You could see the Mod Podge on it. I put a couple post coats of the Mod Podge gloss on these. What that does is it gives you a little bit more stability. It gives you more time. Um, like once this dries now with the paint around it, it'll even make it more firm. So these become stencils now. And all I did was I took them and do it like this. And you just stamp with your brush or your makeup sponge or whatever way you want to do it. This is just a paintbrush I got from the dollar store, I believe, but I think you get to pick up what I'm putting down. And you see, we got that nice tree light because I, I took the paint off. But every time we do that around here, it's going to add more paint. And as that paint dries, it's going to make it more firm. So that is what I got going on here. And I'm going to use these on an ATC card, but that's neither here or there. So what I did was I took a piece of paper. This is printer paper. Pretend, look, I mean, you can see they're cute. Pretend that this is printer paper because my, I thought I brought it in. I don't know what I did with it. And lately that's been my life. So let's just move on, shall we? Okay. So I took a pencil and I'll do a tree and then I'll show you a couple of things. I got to turn it this way because that's how I draw. And for the tree, there's many ways you can make a tree, but a way that I find it easy, it depends on what you're putting this in, art journal, if you're making your own card. It's really just putting bigger triangles in each side, right? I'll we'll just do the bigger one here. Okay. And then like that. Now you can um, do like the old, like we were taught in schools, like, you know, you kind of, and then you go down the same. I don't know exactly. This looks like a Grinch tree or something like that. But you see what I'm saying? Just do it. Just do this one. All right. Just do this one. <laughs> okay. So then I just go and erase the middles. Da -da, we got a tree. Okay. And then let's say we want. A star. Okay. Uh, maybe you're really good at drawing, I don't know, some word, write it backwards when you cut it out. Maybe, um, you just want to do like a different type of thing. Maybe you want to do a flower. Maybe you want to do some, what the heck I'm doing. So you see what I'm doing. See what I'm saying? So we're going to do this. Then I'm going to take a knife. Or so, what did I do with my knife? I have a really nice knife. Did I put it back? Oh, I'm going to have to use a different one. What the heck did I do with her? Oh, well. Um, Here she is. I knew I had her safe. So then you're going to go in and you're going to take an X-Acto knife or maybe whatever you want. Um, and then I just go in and I just pull this down carefully. Don't pull towards your hands. Like they say, do as I say, and not as I do, whatever that means, you know, whatever. 
Let's just move your hands out the way. Get out the way. Get out the way. Move. Get, I gotta watch because they'll. I'm always getting my videos uh, demonetized <laughs> for singing. It's terrible. Like I always say, like I'm. You know, you're not gonna think that I'm pink or uh, who's popular now? That Ariana Grande or whatever. You know, I'm not. I'm not there yet. No. <laughs> you know. So, but I always get demonetized. So. Because you know I'm the next up and coming rapper. Every time I sing Beastie Boys, every single time, they get me. That and the TLC song. When I, or not TLC, Salt and Pepper song. Uh, push it. Like I would sing that right here. I'd be like, okay, once you're done cutting it, then push it, push it real good. And I would. Dun, 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 dun. YouTube's too worried about uh, me singing, so can't do it. And you just keep doing your thing. I'll get lost in my head and, and forget I'm recording for you guys. I'm so sorry. And then what happens? Look, we got to treat. Now, you can see here, like, because this paper is, you know, this is, like, thin and it didn't all the way come off there. But, I mean, we have a tree. So right now you can paint it or what have you. Um, one of the other things I like are, um, let me try to do different shapes here that are easier to cut. Like I like those. So I might do like a couple of those and different kind of like, right. And then I'll cut these and then I'll show you the, what I do. And I'm using a cutting mat. If you have an old ceramic tile or whatever you cut on. And like I said, if you don't have an X-Acto knife, you know, try to poke in, like, poke in your scissor at one of the lines and then just kind of start cutting. Now, the reason I say to sit down and draw on here things that you want to cut is I'm going to show you because now once I get these all done and don't throw these away even if you're using them you know what I mean um, because let me see if I take a pair of scissors and I take it and I just kind of go like this it will Maybe if you have sharp scissors. Come on. These aren't exactly sharp. Are they sharp? See, I have these little bad boys here. But you want like something that has a point, like a pointy point, you know, that you can kind of get through. I would even use a like a sewing pin, like a or a push pin. Something. There we go. Alright, it's not that easy. <laughs> Shit, Cal. Look, I have good ideas. I just don't always execute correctly, you know? There we go. And then you can go in and kind of cut it. Oh, shit. Fuck, forget that. I was going to say something else. Forget that. You need a goddamn knife because that ain't going to work. Lord. Or maybe it does for you. Maybe your brain where I, I can't figure it out. And I'm sorry for cursing. I didn't mean. I, well, I have a terrible curse. You know, I curse like a sailor, but, or trucker. But I don't mean to on here. So I apologize. This wasn't working. So then, like this star, obviously we're not going to cut that out in the middle, but I will go around. Sometimes for me, because my brain doesn't work correctly. I um, would have to go in and cut, the, erase those middle out because um, as much as I say, oh, don't cut that out, sometimes I do. Like, I, I'd be like, oh, do I have to do that? And it messes up my thinking. I, I can do very good when I'm not bothered, like when something doesn't bother me, meaning like if I'm up here doing stuff in my room and I'm alone and the dogs are not being a pain in the butt, nobody's asking me to do anything. Um, that kind of thing. I can sometimes get through things, but 
Okay, see how fun? Look at me. Okay, so I, I'm not going to bore you anymore, especially after my whole let's use scissors comment. You know what I'm saying? Who the heck do I think I am? Okay, so sorry. Okay. So then we're going to do the same thing. But here's the gig. You see how I have these, I have this, I have this. I would take, you know, I'd probably take that off a little bit more. And let's say I did something up here and here and I cut all these out. You have a page now of what? Stencils. And, you know, I do the body too where I, I mean, I've done this a million times with um, where I'll draw like, let's say draw like a face and the body. You know, you could do it better. And then like the legs and cut that out with the arms where you have like a silhouette. I mean, there's like all the things to do. So now you could use sprays. You can use your paint. You can use whatever you want. We're not going with that green because she needs to be shook and I'm not shaking today, right now. Probably a little later. Okay. Oh my God, this is one of those videos like, look cute, might delete later. <laughs> Okay. Okay. So I'm going to go in. Oh, she brought in. She was nice. Real nice. Okay. And then let's look at our star and then these. Just so you can see. And we got some stencils. Now, like I said, this one right here, She's making me angry. Let's see. And I didn't do it. I didn't draw it purposely like straight and let's make everything fantastical because it's a stencil and I made it and I don't like all that crap on my art. I like it to look funky and you know what I'm saying? Now, here's the fun thing. So now I didn't even put glue around this yet, right? I should have glued it first with the Mod Podge, but I didn't. So am I mad? No. Now this will dry. And each time it'll just keep building up and building up. But this is a thicker paper. This is uh, mixed media paper uh, or watercolor paper. So you can use whatever, whatever you have, um, you know, if you don't have the Mod Podge. But I like to Mod Podge it because I think it gives, it gives it a little bit more of something. Now, if you have sprays that you use, like the acrylic sprays or that you make, let's get this funky little thing there. You can spray, which I'm not going to get my spray out right now because it's clean across the room and I'll trip fall the whole thing lately. Okay. So like you can see what you would do is then you lay these down and you spray and you can use that on your stencil as well. Or if you don't feel like getting up and spraying and then I'm not going to do that bottom, but you see, then we start getting the opposite part of what it is. And look at us. So we have the mask. So this is a mask and, and all the things. I can like brush. Maybe I would do like a yellow, right? Or a fluorescent yellow or something around the tree. And then do the put the tree inside and it would look like, oh, like the angels came. You know what I mean? If that was the right piece. But you guys know what I'm saying. So that is it. Um... And I just wanted to show you guys. So you can definitely make your own stuff at home. You don't have to feel like you can't do it. Simple, very easy just to sit and do that. Sit while you're watching the TV, binging Netflix, which we all do, and um, take a piece of paper, any paper, this big, that small, whatever, and just sit and draw. Oh, here, 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 here. Leave enough room that if you use, a, you know, if you're going to use your paint, you have a little bit of room that you're not right. And then just do, look, you could do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, probably 10 things on here. And you have your own little stencil that you can use. How great. You could do the alphabet. Oh my goodness. You can do the alphabet and have your own stencil. It's all the fun in the world. It really is. And you can do it. Like I said, while you're sitting in the bed to draw or, um, and you can color them with colored pencil. I mean, you know, all the things. So I hope this was helpful. I know a lot of you are stuck at home and a lot of you feel very, um, 
down in the dumps. I get like that as well because I can't go out. But, um, you know, like I said, try these, try some things. I know you guys are um, good at this kind of thing. If you want to see my magazine stencils that I make, let me know down below. And I would love to do a video on that for you as well. I have tons of magazines and um, it's just a fun way to, you know, do some do some stenciling and you know buying stencils is fun and i have a ton of stencils but it is fun to make your own because nobody else has it do you know what i mean so anyway i hope you guys are staying safe as always please be kind to each other you never know what battle somebody else is fighting i love you guys so very much and i hope you guys are just keeping on keeping on that's all we can do i will see you in my next video questions comments all the things please leave down below as well as all my information is down below my etsy is having 25 percent off uh by the middle of the week i'm going to have more stuff up so go to town love you guys Bye bye